विद्यार्थी मित्रों इनडेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लीट थी गये एम बे मोस्ट इम्पोर्टंट एक्जाम्पल्स ये आप लई लें इन जनरल क्वेश्चन हूँ करीश जे ते लोग पेलो फॉर्मेट कर सको इजीली आईज इक्वल टू ई रेस टू एक्स साइन बी एक्स प्लस के बी एक्स बराबर एडवांस में फॉर्म्यूला आज तुमने होमवर्क में आपी दू आईज इक्वल टू ई रेस टू एक्स कॉस बी एक्स प्लस के आई एम लिविंग दिस वन फॉर यू होमवर्क राखो आप जो मित्रों आ फॉर्म्यूला में ए वेल्यू बी वेल्यू और के वेल्यू लई ने एक्जाम्पल पूछी सके बट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन जनरल बराबर लेट अस सी देट फॉर्म एल आई ए टी ई In this direction, selection of v is there. Now here, combination of trigonometry and exponential function is given. So this one is over v, and this one is over u. Yes or no? Yes. Let us see. Follow that pattern. So sine b x plus k as it is integral of e raised to a x. dx minus d by dx of sin bx plus k integral of e raised to ax dx as it is into dx integration by parts khanda sankalan na niyam no upyog karta that is equal to what is the integration of e raised to ax e raised to ax upon a साइन बी एक्स प्लस के माइनस वोट इज डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन बी एक्स प्लस के सो कोस बी एक्स प्लस के इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ बी एक्स प्लस के दैट इज बी सेम वे वोट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ई रेस टू एक्स ई रेस टू ए एक्स ओवर ए हॉल इन टू डी एक्स सो दैट इज इक्वल टू ई रेस टू ए एक्स ओवर ए साइन बी एक्स प्लस के माइनस टेक बी बाय कॉमन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड बी इज कॉन्स्टंट फ्रॉम न्यूमरेटर ए इज कॉन्स्टंट फ्रॉम डिनोमीटर टेक इट आउटसाइड वॉट वी गेट ई रेस टू ए एक्स कॉस बी एक्स प्लस के इन टू डी एक्स क्लियर नाउ सीयर नाउ वंस अगेन दिस पार्ट एज इट इज नाउ एप्लाय इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट टू सेकेंड पार्ट So e raised to a x over a sine b x plus k minus b by a bracket. This one is over v. This one is over u. Cos b x plus k as it is integral of e raised to a x d x minus d by d x of which one? cos bx plus k integral of e raised to ax dx as it is whole into dx main bracket complete so that is equal to e raised to ax plus a sin bx plus k minus b by a cos bx plus k what is the integration e raised to ax by a minus What is differentiation of cos b x plus k? That is minus sine b x plus k into derivative of b x plus k. That is b. Once again, what is integration? E raised to a x over a whole into d x into bracket complete. Now let us see in second page. That is equal to e raised to a x over a sine b x plus k. This part, clear. Minus b by a. 
माइनस बी बाई ए कॉस बी एक्स प्लस के इन टू ई रेस टू ए एक्स बाई ए सी दैट इन टू ई एक्स बाई ए माइनस माइनस दैट कम्स आउट प्लस बी बाई ए कॉमन प्लस बी बाई ए कॉमन ई रेस टू ए एक्स साइन बी एक्स प्लस के इन टू डी ए होल ब्रैकेट कंप्लीट यू कैन सी दैट that is equal to this b by a is taken common this minus this minus and this minus comes out plus clear now on left hand side i is there so i is equal to e raised to a x over a sin b x plus k now see here we get minus b by a square e raised to a x cos b x plus k yes Minus b by a into b by a. That is minus b square by a square. What is this one? See, that is our i. This one is our i. So into i. Take it on left hand side. So i plus b square by a square into i is equal to e raised to a x over a. Sine b x plus k minus b by a square e raised to a x cos b x plus k. Yes, clear. So take i common. So a square plus b square by a square on right hand side e raised to a x into a sine b x plus k over a. Yes or no? A square over a square minus b by a square e raised to a x cos b x plus k. Now LCM LCM get cancelled on both side. I square plus is equal to i into a square plus b square is equal to e raised to a x common a sine b x plus k minus b cos b x plus k. Now their product is i, so i is equal to e raised to a x over a square plus b square a sine b x plus k minus b cos b x plus k also clear. So this is the standard form. Now see, this is the standard form. Or in place of a and b they can give any value of a and b now one more thing also we can simplify more further also suppose a is equal to r cos theta and b is equal to r sin theta where r greater than 0 theta belongs to open minus pi to close pi so what you get a square plus b square is equal to r square cos square theta r square sin square theta that is a square only r square the what is r is equal to under root a square plus b square substitute this value in i and therefore i is equal to e raised to a x over a square plus b square that is r square into bracket sin b x plus k into a that means r cos theta minus b cos b x plus k so cos b x plus k into r sin theta agree with me plus c see here replace value of a and b and same time replace value of a square plus b square clear so e raised to a x r is common here take it common and cancel the denominator quantity only r what you get? Sine bx plus k into cos theta minus cos bx plus k into sine theta plus c. That is equal to e raised to ax over under root. R square means a square plus b square. See this one is a formula. Sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. 
is the formula of sine bx plus k minus theta plus c where theta can be obtained as with help of this two form with help of this one clear keep this thing in mind this one is most important for mcq keep this form in mind as well as this form also in mind clear yeah and similarly you are going to see this one also dear friend this is the end of indefinite integration in definite integration now let us start definite integration definite integration indefinite integration means or near sankala definite integration means near sankala now see we already seen the definition if there exists function gx such that d by dx of fx gx is equal to fx if and only if integral of fx dx is equal to gx plus c clear that we know definition of indefinite integration same way if capital f of x is primitive of of fx or anti derivative of f of x that is then then f dash x is equal to f of x for all x belongs to closed interval a b keep one thing in mind for integration function should be defined on closed interval clear for definite integration see there is our aim is to see only definition but we are not going to write in examination also then integration a to b fx dx is equal to sorry f dash x is equal to this means primitive means f dash x is equal to this one so if you take integration on both side sorry f dash x is equal to capital fx raised to a to b that is equal to f of b minus f of a is a fundamental theorem of integral calculus alene kalan shastra no murbhut pramey ke vai but we are not going to prove it now see fx means jo fx a small fx no प्रतिविकलित हो तो इंटीग्रल ए टू बी एफ एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ एक्स ए टू बी एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू एफ ओ बी माइनस एफ ओ ए क्लियर व्हेन वी आर राइटिंग ए टू बी मींस व्हाट ए इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू बी b is called upper limit a is called lower limit a b ne upper limit ke vai a ne lower limit ke vai integral of f of b minus f of a as far as suppose here 
why we are not putting constant c c a to b f of x if d by dx of capital f x plus c is equal to small f of x then we know that integral a to b f x dx is equal to capital f of x plus c if you take this limit then what you get here also we have to put limit that is f of b plus c upper limit minus lower limit f of a plus c and that comes out f of b minus f of a c cancel with this c so in definite integration we are not going to put constant arbitrary constant constant of integration sankalan ochran ka apne nahi mukiye a to b dx is equal to so suppose eno sanklit capital f x y a t b that is equal to f of b minus f of a and this one is for a less than b always keep it thing in mind what happens if a equal to b then integral a to b jo a barabar b to a sankalan so thai jase is equal to 0 if a greater than b then what to a to b fx dx is equal to minus b to a of x dx aa pan ek agatya nu parinam se if a greater than b then we have to take this much clear see these are the uh, rules of sorry definition of indefinite integ sorry definite integration niyat sankalan ye badi vyakhya ho se atla sutra j apne khali yaad rakhvana se mitro tamare shu yaad rakhvano se ek to aa part we can apply f of b minus f of a only when a less than b but whenever a equal to b then definitely this integration is equal to zero ane jare a greater than b hoy to aa form ma lakhu pade karan su a greater than b ho a to b hoy to aa eni lower limit tha eni upper limit tha etle minus sign kam to ke f of b minus f of a hoy emati minus sign common kaadu to shu aave f of a minus f of b aave clear so that is minus of f x a to b aave sorry b a to b aave to etla mate thi chhe jo whenever a greater than b then this thing then we can apply rule next thing see here our aim is next one to see that if but not so if a less than c less than b then to integral a to b fx dx is equal to a to b f x d x sorry a to c f x d x plus c to b f x d x i can agat you know niyam che definite integration ma ke no ane biju ke a to b f x plus or minus g x hoy working rule same working rule so is equal to a to b f x d x पद प्रमाण अपने नियत संकलन आपी सकिए जो कॉन्स्टंट आप टू बी के एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स अपने आपेला हो तो आप कॉन्स्टंट के बार लई सकिए बाकी इंटीग्रेशन प्रमाणित सूत्र एज इट इज से आप उपयोग करने अगत्य फॉर्म्यूला जुवे integration by parts u v dx u integral v dx upper limit minus lower limit upper a to b once again d by dx of u sorry that is du by dx integral v dx whole it is it is whole into dx a to b integration by parts in 
integration by parts niyat sankalan sankalan mate khanda sah sankalan no niyam ana a niyam ni madad thi apne example hai na gani shakiye have थोड़ा साव सिंपल एग्जांपल थे आप लोग थोड़ी शुरुआत करिए कि जे इनडेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन में एग्जांपल गई ना था आप लोग ये वाज एग्जांपल आप लोग डेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन में पने तू ध्यान रख जो बद्दीज इनडेफिनेट नहीं फॉर्मूला एक साथे पन काम लगी शक्के कोई पन एग्जांपल ए फॉर्मेट नो हो dx upon x छे हवे जो आपने खबर छे dx upon x नी सूथ आई तो के log mod x plus c आपने मुखता था पर definite integration मा आ c मुखवानो न थी हवे यह हुँ limit a to b आपु तो यह ही तमारे limit a to b आप पी पड़े आ क्या क्या नियम ने आधियान के हुआ पड़े तो के ए आ नियम ने आधियान f of b minus f of a आ नियम ने आधियान ख्याल आवे से तो अबे उपयोग कर लिए तो इज इक्वल टू सू थाय तो के लॉग मोड एक्स ए टू बी सो लॉग 4 बेजी माइनस लॉग 2 बेजी सो लॉग 4 बाय 2 बेजी दैट कम्स आउट लॉग 2 बेजी सी इन दिस वे वी कैन कंप्यूट डेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन नाउ सी नेक्स्ट सी जीरो टू पाई साइन फाइव एक्स डी एक्स अपोज वी विश टू कंप्यूट इट सो दैट इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज इंटीग्रल माइनस कोस फाइव एक्स बाय फाइव जीरो टू पाई तो माइनस वन बाय फाइव कॉमन अपर लिमिट कोस फाइव पाई माइनस कोस जीरो नाउ सी वी नो दैट कोस विथ इवन पाई कोस युग्मा पाई साथ है होए तो सुआवे बोलो बोलो वन अने कोस ओड पाई अयुग्मा पाई साथ है आवे तो सुआवे माइनस वन क्लियर हमे फाइव पाई से अयुग्मा से कि युग्मा तो क्या युग्मा ओड से सो दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाय फाइव माइनस वन व्हाट इस कोस जीरो वन सो दैट कम्स आउट टू बाय फाइव इन दिस वे वी कैन सॉल Definite integration. Now see here. Next one. See. Suppose we wish to see 0 to 2 under root 6x plus 4 into dx. Now see. How to check the linear form into dx? Okay. Linear raised to half the shape. आपने d by dx of linear arrange करवा पड़े, so let us see here how to arrange that linear form. That i is equal to is equal to what is differentiation of six x plus four six so one by six zero to four. Can I write here six plus four raised to half into six into dx? Yes. Now see here, 6 is the derivative of 6x plus 4. So that is equal to 1 by 6, 0 to 2, 6x plus 4 raised to half into d by dx of 6x plus 4. Integration in formula as it is, upper limit minus lower limit. What you get here? 6x plus 4 raised to 3 by 2 over 3 by 2, 0 to 2. So that comes out 2 by 3 into 1 by 6, upper limit 2, 6 to the 12 plus 4, 16, that is 4 square raised to 3 by 2, minus put 0. So what you get? If you put here 0, then 4, that is 2 square raised to 3 by 2. So 2 by 18, here 2 to get 4 cube, 4 for the 16, 4 the 64, 2 cube minus 8. 
Now that is equal to 2 by 18. What you get? 56. Clear? Yes or no? No. Yes, yes. Now 1 by 9 into 56. Now this is the answer. In this way you can solve this type of questions also. Now dear friends, let us see. I would like to leave this one for you. dx over under root of here linear. 5x plus 3. Clear? Rn derivative here. Then apply once again this form. Likewise this one. Arrange it here. But that is in numerator and that also get is in numerator. Rest to minus half that comes. So let us leave this one for you. Now i is equal to 1 to root 2 dx over x under root x square minus 1. One thing, how to check this one? But see, you know that this one is the derivative of some function. What is the derivative of sec inverse x? Okay, 1 by mod x under root x square minus 1. But here 1 to 2, 1 to root 2, 1 less than x less than root 2, that is positive. So there is no magnitude, this is the reason why only x is there. So here it is direct standard form. So that is equal to sec inverse x, 1 to root 2. That comes out sec inverse root 2 minus sec inverse 1. So sec inverse sec pi by 4 minus sec inverse sec 0. That comes out pi by 4 minus 0 and that is our answer pi by 4. Next, see. 0 to 1, 1 minus x over 1 plus x dx. See, 1 minus x over 1 plus x. How to solve this one? Any one of you please tell me. See, let us recall that part fx over gx when our power of numerator is greater than or equal to power of denominator quantity then either denominator quantity or factor of denominator quantity can be arranged in a numerator ansnika chednika karta moti ke jevdi hoy to ched ke ched navya ansh ma gotvi shakay now see here that thing is here can i write here 1 plus x minus 2x over 1 plus x yes we can write it into dx so that comes out 0 to 1 1 minus 2x over 1 plus x no so once again we get same thing so it cannot be work together so what we have to do in that case now see here in that case we know that a minus x and a plus x get given gathered together x is equal to a cos 2 theta. This is the substitution. So, we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that we to say that we to 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 we have to change this limit. See, this is limit in terms of x, but here we are moving x in terms of theta. So, we have to write value of theta also. x is equal to 0. So, cos 2 theta. When cos 2 theta, cos theta is 0, sorry, that is cos pi by 2 is equal to cos 2 theta. So, 2 theta is equal to pi by 2. So, theta is equal to pi by 4. That means, if jo x 0 tarap jato hoi tere theta kya jase theta tends to pi by 4 and x 1 tarap jato hoi put here 1 when it comes out that is 0 cos 0 is 1 so 2 theta is equal to 0 and so theta is equal to also 0 implies theta tends to 0 so put this limit and therefore i is equal to 0 to 1 0 to 1 
So 0 to 1 means pi by 4 to 0. Pi by 4 to 0. 1 minus cos 2 theta, 1 plus cos 2 theta, minus 2 sin 2 theta d theta. So take minus sign outside, minus 2 outside, pi by 4 to 0, this comes out 2 sin square theta, this comes out 2 cos square theta, what is sin 2 theta? 2 sin theta into cos theta into d theta. Now we know that a to b is equal to minus b to a, that is minus b to a is given to us, we can write that is equal to this thing. So that is equal to 2 times 0 to pi by 4. Now see here, 2 to get cancelled, this 2 to get cancelled, this 2 is there, so take it outside, so it comes out 4 here. So it here comes out 4 here. Now cos theta, cos theta is also cancelled. What you get? Sin cube theta over cos theta d theta. How to solve this one? Sin cube theta over cos cube theta. Now here, once again, you can take one more substitution also. See, this can be written as 4, 0 to pi by 4. Can I write here? Sin square theta into sin theta over cos theta into d theta. Yes, we can write it. Now that is equal to 4 times 0 to pi by 4, 1 minus cos square theta into sin theta over cos theta into d theta. Yes, kem na karishakye. So is equal to 4. Now once again we have to take substitution. Suppose cos theta is equal to t. So minus sin theta d theta is equal to dt. And therefore sin theta d theta is equal to minus dt. Theta tends to 0. Here, take theta tends to 0, implies t tends to 1, or t tends to 1, or t is equal to 1. And theta tends to pi by 4, implies t tends to 1 upon root 2. Yes or no? See here, theta tends to pi by 4. So, 1 upon root 2. So, this integral can be converted 4 times, see, 0 to pi by 4. So, 1 to 1 upon root 2, 1 to 1 upon root 2. Yes, 1 minus t square over t into minus dt. So, minus 4, 1 to 1 over root 2, 1 by t minus t dt. So, that is equal to 4 root 2 to 1. Yes or no? 1 over root 2, sorry, huh? 1 over root 2. 1 over root 2 to 1. 1 by t minus t dt. Now we can easily integrate it. Yes or no? Yes. Now see here. Now, is there any way to solve this one easily? Let us see that thing also. 0 to 1, 1 minus x over 1 plus x. Clear? So can I write here 0 to 1? 1 minus x whole square over 1 plus x into 1 minus x into d yes so 0 to 1 1 minus 2x plus x square over 1 minus x square into dx that we can also write it yes then what 0 to 1 x square minus 2x plus 1 over 1 minus x square into dx now that is equal to 0 to 1 x square plus 1 over x square minus 1 with minus sign. Here put minus sign. Then minus sign is taken there. Minus 2x over 1 minus x square plus into d. Yes. Now see here, here derivative is given here numerator. That can be solvable. Here how to solve this one? minus 0 to 1 x square minus 1 plus 2 over x square minus 1 dA. Now this is very easy to solve with help of this one. So now 0 to 1 1 dA x plus 2 time minus 2 time 
minus 2 times 0 to 1, 1 over x square minus 1 dx, that is also easy to solve the, in that way we can solve this type of sums. In next lecture we are going to see in detail. Clear?